everyone. So here is my take on partnership formation. Okay, this is uh, just a review because I'll be posting sometime in the future partnership formation na pang basic accounting. This is partnership formation in the point of view of advanced accounting. Although it's the same, uh, some of the portions are just a review because um, in since I am teaching advanced accounting, I have already discussed partnership formation, uh, the basics. Okay, so this is just a review. Okay, anyway, let's start. So we have partnership. It is an association of two or more persons who contribute money, property, or industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves. This is actually the definition given by the civil code. Okay, so two or more persons persons they contribute either money property or effort talent expertise or the, what you call industry to a common fund with the intention of dividing the profits among themselves okay so kaya ka bumubuo ng partnership is uh, gusto mong meron kang kasamang kumita ano kumita magpursige magnegosyo okay that's partnership okay so there are two types of partnership that's general partnership and limited partnership in a, in the sense of um, liability okay because there are different types of partnership categorized by uh, different factors okay so dito ang kinuha ko muna is uh, depending on the liability okay general partnership are those in which each partner is personally liable so ibig sabihin pag nakauutang si partnership okay um nagkautang si partnership sa creditors at wala siya may pambayad, pwedeng kunin ni creditors yung personal assets ni partners. Okay? Kasi we all know that the partnership is a separate entity from the partners. That should be it. Okay? However, if general yung partnership mo, the creditors, once na-exhaust na niya yung lahat ng means um, inside the partnership para mabayaran and still may utang pa rin, pwedeng uh, um ihabulin ng creditors yung personal assets ng partners. That's general partnership. So, ang tawag din is general partners. Ano? Okay? So, um, unlimited yung liability nila. Liability nila. Unlimited. Okay? So, the, next we have limited partnership. Only one partner needs to be a general partner. So, dito naman, um, lahat sila limited limit sa isa so hindi lahat okay so liban sa isa which is the general par partner the rest limited partner ibig sabihin at uh, up to the point of their capital contribution lang sa partnership yun lang ang pwedeng habulin ng creditors okay so yon so ma'am paano kapag hindi talaga wala na talaga na exhaust na lahat ng partnership assets Okay, so ang gagawin, hahabulin si nag-iisang general partner. Okay, kawawa naman. Pero at least, maraming gusto maging partner sa limited partnership knowing that they will be a limited partner. Okay, kasi hindi na habol yung personal assets. Okay, at may isa lang silang pain. Charot. Okay, features of general partnerships. So, this is general. So, ease of formations. Okay, uh, madali lang bumuo na isang partnership. You just need meeting of minds. Meron ka ng partnership. Okay? So, ang ang deal lang is kailan pwedeng kasuhan ng isang partnership if they have dealt with a partnership na parang um, nalamang. Okay? Uh, the partnership can be dealt with or pwede sila makasuhan if there is um, legal personality already. Okay? So, kailan nagkakaroon ng legal personality? So, nagkakaroon ng legal personality yung partnership if they have already ex executed instruments. Ano? Pero the partnership is formed when there are meeting of, there is a meeting of minds. Okay? So, yun. Limited life. So, uh, madali or marupok ang partnership. Okay? Pwede siyang madisband. <laughs> Pwede siyang madissolve when there is admission. When there's may namatay na partner, there is an insolvent partner and may nag-withdraw ng na partner. Ganon siya karumpok. Ano, hindi kagaya ng uh, corporation na even if a shareholder is namatay, hindi na, nabubuwag yung corporation dito. Uh, basta nagkaroon ng change sa composition ng uh, partnership, limited yung life niya, pwedeng ma-dissolve. Okay? 
So, ang gagawin lang ng partners is magbubuo lang ng bagong partnership, okay? Pero hindi na siya kagaya ng partnership before kasi nagbago na yung composition ng partners. Nag- nagbago yung kanilang meeting of minds. Okay? So, yun. Assignment of partners' interest. Okay? So, pwedeng um, when the partner is uh, tawag din aalis na or pwede ba niyang ipamana yung 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 kanyang contribution dun sa partnership sa anak niya, hindi po pwede. Kasi magbabago na naman yung partnership uh, partnership composition. So, hindi pwede yon Then, next, we have unlimited liability. So, yun nga. Uh, pwedeng habulin yung personal assets. Next, we have mutual agency. So, kung limang partners, if you transact with one of the partners, at alam ng mga partners that you have transacted with one of the partners, considered it binding sa buong partnership. There is mutual agency. However, um, sa law, okay, sa partnership, sa civil code, sinasabi na if the partner um, entered into a, a business transaction without the consent of the of the partners tapos na na agrabyado yung partnership considered as uh, he is not the agent of the partnership. Okay, if proven. Okay, yun. Separate legal personality, yun nga, magkaiba yung partnership sa partners. May sarili siyang buhay. Okay, so, uh, i, kumbaga, si ABC, si letter D yung partnership. Okay, so, yun. Sharing profits and losses through agreement or stipulation, nagkakaroon ng sharing of profits and losses by a percentage. So, kailangan pagkasunduan. That's the first first degree uh, through stipulation. If gusto ay 40, 40, 60 hatian or or 20, 20, 20 kung lima o kaya naman 50, 50, 50, 50 or equally, okay, pinagkakasunduan nila. That's uh, true stipulation. Okay? So, ang nananaig is yung pinagkasunduan ng partners. Okay? If wala, usually through capital contribution, yung sharing of profits and losses. Ano? So, yan. So, we have two underlying equity theories. We have the propriety to theory. So, sabi, um, looks at the entity through the eyes of the owner. So, actually, the assets of the business as are belonging to the proprietor, okay? Dun sa partners. The liabilities of a business are debts of the proprietor. Okay? Salaries of partners are considered distribution of income. Unlimited liability of general partners extend beyond the entity to the individual partners. And then, original partnership is dissolved upon the admission. So, ito yung usually ginagamit, yung proprietary theory. Pero kung, kung mapapansin ninyo, bakit parang nag-merge yung dalawang equity theories, which is, yung isa is, views the business as a separate and distinct entity, possessing its own existence apart from the individual partners. Okay? The legal life of the firm in this fashion transcends the debt or admission of a partner. Kung makikita nyo yung usual partnership natin, bakit may transcendence ng, uh, uh, but may transcendence, bakit may parang uh, halo ng entity and proprietary theory? Uh, yun na nga eh. Okay, so, theory naman siya. So, ito yung dalawang paniniwala uh, with regards to equity theories na um, underlying in most partnerships. Okay, pero sa partnerships natin, nakikita natin that the partnership is a separate entity then ang ginagawa is proprietary theory na. Okay, so, bakit ganun ma'am? Um, evolution? Okay, <laughs> evolution or adaptation to business uh, business complexity. Ano? Written partnership agreement. So, yun nga, uh, 3,000, if the capital is 3,000 and above, it should be registered with SEC. If it's not registered with SEC, okay lang. Okay? However, it is not binding to to third, ah, uh, tawag din, if third parties ay maghabol doon sa partnership kasi uh, niloko ako ni, pa- ni partnership ganto ganyan, ganyan, nabogus ako, na-scam ako, hindi mo mahabol yung partnership mismo, you have to find the partners para sila yung kakasuhan mo kasi hindi siya registered kay SEC. You have transacted with someone na walang uh, registration with SEC. If it is registered with SEC, madali siyang matrace. Okay? If na-scam ka. Okay? So, yun. So, parang safekeeping lang. Pero mostly partnerships, are, they are they are already formed when there's meeting of minds. Okay? So, ano nakalagay sa contract? Sa articles of partnership. So, usually, 
name of the partnership, address of the partnership, effectivity date of the contract, purpose, and principal office of the business capital. Actually, lahat ng kailangan para tong blueprint, lahat ng kailangan malaman mo in order for the partnership to operate. Ano? So, yun. Next. Accounting and financial reporting requirements. Partnership cannot issue stocks. Wala siyang stocks. Sino lang may stocks? Corporation. Okay, so yan. Has more flexibility to select accounting measurement and recognition methods. So, mas flexible siya uh, compared sa corporation kasi dito, um, kasi nga partnership. So, simple transactions lang. Okay, pero there are large partnership na they transact with more complexity pero they have the flexibility to decide which accounting um, measurement and recognition methods will they use. Okay? If they will issue general purpose financial statements to the public, ang flexibility nila is nalilimit because they need to comply with GAAP and PFRS. Kasi yung general purpose financial statements will be seen by the public. Okay? In order to safe keep the public, kaya nga may accounting standards, they should follow the accounting standard. Pero if hindi naman sila mag issue ng general purpose financial statement kasi maliit lang silang partnership, okay? They can select any accounting methods that they want to use. Okay? Pero pag general purpose financial statements yung kanilang i-issue, they need to comply with accounting standards. Ano? So, yan. So, we go to partnership formation kasi we all know that partnership has partnership formation, operation, dissolution, and liquidation. So, we start first with partnership formation. Partnership formation so, sabi nga, partnership is consensual, created by agreement of the partners. It may be oral or written. According to the civil code, that a partnership agreement must be made in public instrument and recorded in the office of the SEC when may immovable property or real rights are contributed to the partnership and partnership has a capital of 3,000 or more. Okay, ma'am, paano kapag capital of 3,000 or more lang? Record ba namin i-register with SEC? No. Ma'am, paano pag may immovable property? Okay? and real rights na kinontribute doon sa doon sa partnership diyan mo kailangan i-register with SEC okay why it is a protection uh, both with the sa partner sa partnership and sa public okay so article 1773 of the civil code further requires that inventor of any immovable property contributed to the partner Ship should be made, signed by a partners, and attached to a public instrument we all know according to law that when immovable properties involve in any contract, it should be written or it, there should be a public instrument. Uh, it should be in public instrument. So, yun. Okay? So, if wala, the partnership is void. Okay? Kasi, minsan, gusto mo ng partners, i-contribute yung kanyang land, yung kanyang, uh, yung, yeah, yung, for example, yung land. Okay? Paano kapag nagka, nagka-demandahan na? Tapos, nalaman ng korte na yung land, hindi naman near in, in public instrument na sinabi na contributed siya sa partnership. Di walang habol na yung may-ari ng land doon if nagkademandahan na. Okay, so by law, when immovable property is involved or real rights, kailangan nasa public instrument siya in order for the par partnership to be legally binding and enforceable. Okay, if not, it is deemed void or defective. So, yun. Accounting for partnerships, you have three types of accounts. So, we have capital accounts, drawing, or personal accounts, and accounts for loans to and from partners. Okay, isa isa natin. Ano laman ng capital account? So, ang capital account, debits, ano din uh, ang capital account is credit balance. So, ang initial investment is naka-credit, additional investments ay naka-credit, and then share in profits is naka-credit because we all know that credit increases the capital. Okay? So, ano yung nakakapagbawas sa capital? That's the debits. We have permanent withdrawals or of capital. So, yung mga uh, wini-withdraw ng partners. Then, shares in losses if nag in partnerships. And debit, ba debit balance of drawings account if iklo-close mo na yung debit. De uh, yung drawings account if debit balance siya. If credit balance ng drawings account, naka-credit siya sa capital. Okay, next. De La Cruz drawings. So, ano ang normal balance niya is debit 
So, temporary withdrawals during the period nag increase yung drawings account and then temporary funds held to the to be remitted to the partnership. Then, sa credit is recurring reimbursable cost paid by the partner. Okay? Remember that the drawings account is closed every year and to the capital account. Ano? So, yun. Next, capital withdrawal. So, we need to dis distinguish between capital withdrawal and personal withdrawal. Ang capital withdrawal is kapag sure na sure ka nang babawasan mo na yung investment sa partnership kasi kita mong hindi nagkakaroon na ng misunderstanding sa inyo parang feel, hindi mo na feel yung mga partners so parang unti-unti nagpaparamdam ka nang magbabak out ka na okay so permanent withdrawal yon this involves dire this directly affect the capital account because they arise mostly from withdrawals of investment be it original or or additional so kunwari nag-invest ka na 100,000 before okay so sabi mo hindi ko na feel itong partnership. So, mag-withdraw ka na ng 50,000. So, ibig sabihin yung capital mo, capital balance mo sa partnership, 50,000 na lang. Hanggang sa unti-unti mo na tinatanggal, hanggang mawala na yung capital mo, hindi ka na partner. Okay? O kaya naman, nawala yung capital mo, ang binibigay mo na lang industry. Okay, so yan. Then next, personal withdrawal or temporary withdrawal. So, this one is usually involved sa yung share, share in profits mo lang, yung uh, we need withdraw mo. Kasi we have, sa partnership nga, nag-share sila sa profits. Gusto mo naman pakinabang, mapakinabangan yung share sa profits mo. Yun yung temporary withdrawal. Ano, sabi, eh, pre, pwede kang, ano, um, ma-withdraw ko na yung aking share sa ating kinita. Pero okay naman. Okay lang. Temporary withdrawal lang yun. Personal withdrawal. Pero, kung 100,000 yung na-invest mo dati, tapos nadagdagan ng profits, share in profits mo, tapos yung share in profits mo lang kinuha mo, this personal withdrawal lang. Okay? Hindi mo ginagalaw yung original investment mo, 100,000. Pero pag ginalaw mo na yung 100,000 na yun, binawasan mo yung 100,000 na yun, it's capital withdrawal. Okay? Next, loan accounts. So, pag may loan account, footnote disclosures are needed since these are related party transactions. Okay? So, kasi partnership to partner, partner to partnership. Okay? Kailangan ng footnote disclosures. So, Loans receivable from partners. So, sino may, sino may utang? Partners. So, partner loans from the partnership. Sa financial statement ng partnership, loan receivable from partners is actually an asset. Kaya nga, loan receivable eh. Okay? So, loans payable to partners. Sino may utang? Partnership. Okay? Partnership loans money from the partner with intention to pay the principal amount and the interest. Okay? These are liabilities sa partnership kasi may utang sila sa partners. Okay? Next. Capital interest versus profit. Ito, ito, malimit, nalilito ito. Ah, blah, 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 daming ito. Okay? Maraming nalilito regarding capital interest and profit. Kasi kapag nilagay sa problem yung percentage ng capital interest and the percentage of profit interest, hindi na malam, ah, percentage of profit sharing in profit sharing and losses, hindi na malaman kung alin ang gagamitin. Okay? So, ang partner's capital interest is actually yung net, yung percentage ng net assets of the partnership sa capital accounts. Okay? Kaya nga, capital interest eh. So, pag sinabing ang capital interest is 30, 40, 30 plus, 30, 30, 30, 30 40, and then 30, tama, ano, 30, 47, uh, okay? So, pag sinabing ganun, that's capital interest. Yung isa naman, interest and profit and loss determines how the partner's capital interest will increase or decrease as a result of subsequent operations. So, ito naman is with regards to profit sharing and losses. Okay, so pag sinabing ang profit sharing and losses is equally at ang capital interest is 30, uh, sige, gawin natin 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Okay? Kasi dapat yung capital in uh, capital interest mo is 100%. Okay? And then the profit sharing and losses is usually 100%. Pag ratio, uh, alam niyo naman pag ratio, diga, pag, ngari, 5 is to 3. So, 5 plus 3, 8. So, 5 divided by 8 at 3 divided by 8. Yun yung profit sharing percentage niya. Okay? So, okay? You need to know the difference between capital interest and profit sharing and losses in uh, percentage. Okay? Next, yan. Valuation of, kasi uh, you have experience sa partnership formation, yung nag account for the books. Ana? So, paano ang, ang measurement niya? Pag 
sinasarahan ng books or kapag nagko-combine na yung yung uh, financial statements ng proprietor, sole proprietor and then a partnership or partnership partnership. Okay, so cash investments. So we have pag cash recorded at fair value. Ano fair value? Fair value ng cash usually the face value. Okay, foreign currency is valued at current exchange rate. So, pag ang involved by foreign currency, you have to know that the exchange rate is the the current exchange rate is the fair value. And then cash in bank under receivership is at estimated recoverable amount. Naman ba yung receivership? Kapag medyo alangani na yung 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 kung bakana nandong kana sa point na mm, ano ba tawag don? Insolvent ka na, tapos nag Uh, nasa recovery stage ka na or nag, nagkaroon ka ng um, underwatch ka na, okay? So, uh, receivership na yung status mo, ang kahit siya cash, ang dapat valuation niya is estimated recoverable amount kasi baka mamaya, hindi pala sure na lahat sa cash in bank ay makukuha mo na. Ano? So, yun. Usually yung mga banks, ano? ma undergoing liquidation pero para maisalba receivership ganun okay non cash investment so recorded at agreed value which is commonly the fair value so pag ito yung pag non cash ha recorded at agreed value which is commonly the fair value okay the agreed value is usually the fair value okay pag napagkasunduan ng mga partners na ang valuation ng, ng sasakyan is at 1 million, that's agreed value, that's also the fair value. Okay? Pag sabi ng partners, kumuha tayo ng assessor para malaman natin if ano talaga yung fair value niya, yung fair value na sasabihin ni assessor, pwede siya. Okay? Uh, assessed value is different from fair value, ha? Okay? Then next, fair value is determined by agreement of all partners. So, yun nga. Then, if there's a conflict between agreed value and fair value, agreed value prevails. Bakit? Kasi nga, through stipulation, yun yung, mas, yun yung pinaka-powerful sa partnership, yung pinagkasunduan nila. Ano? Kasi nga, partnership is the meeting of minds. Pag nawala yung meeting of minds, dissolve agad ang partnership. So, pag services naman, if services are contributed, memorandum entry is required if there's no agreed value. Pag walang agreed value, sabi ay, Uh, so yung servisyo na lang ni ganito ang ating kunin kasi partner naman natin, industry partner naman natin, memorandum lang. Okay? If there is, journal entries needed. So, liabilities. If assumed, liability should be valued at present value of the remaining cash flows. Okay? Alam naman natin sa partnership formation, kailangan malaman mo if the liabilities is assumed by the partnership or kukunin. Yung liabilities ba ni partner ganito ay kukunin din natin, nga assume din natin. If yes, deduction siya sa um, you add all of the assets, the net assets, then deduct the assumed liabilities. That's your net capital. Okay? So, yon Okay? Ma'am, paano pag silent yung problem? Usually, pag silent yung problem, assume yung liabilities. Okay? So, yon Ma'am, lagi po ba sinasabing assume yung liabilities? Yes. Ano? Two ways, oh, sa capital naman, there's two ways to account for the capital. That's bonus method and then investment or withdrawal method. This, I will be discussing kapag may problems na tayong kaharap. Para mas naiintindihan niyo yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa. Okay? Ways to form partnership for the first time. So, we have individual versus individual. So, first time magkakaroon ng partnership. Isang sole proprietor at isang sole proprietor. Then, conversion of a sole proprietor to a partnership. That is individual Uh, versus soul, and then soul versus soul. <laughs> soul, soul, soul. Okay? So, mamano ko pa kaiba ng sole proprietorship sa individual. Individual usually walang negosyo. Ang sole proprietor is my negosyo. Okay? So, yan. Next, conversion of an old partnership to a new partnership. Partnership versus soul, and then partnership versus partnerships. And then, syempre, admission of new partners. Okay? Mamano mo buo ng partnership through admission lang? Yes. Malam mo yung, uh, what's, what are the known partnerships? Yung mga accounting firm. SGV. Uh, okay? Ano pa? Um, PWC. C. <laughs> PWC. PricewaterhouseCoopers. Uh, ano pa? Uh, Ernst and Young. EY. Yun. Okay? So, malimit the partnership in name is yung apelido. Okay? So, if you are intending to create a partnership, 
kailangan lahat ng pangalan nyo is nasa partnership na yun. Okay? So, nasa ano yun ah? Nasa civil code. So, ma'am, gusto pa namin ng in-depth uh, regarding partnership law. That's already sa law. Okay? Ang itatouch ko lang dito is advanced accounting. Okay? So, yung accounting side niya. Okay? So, yun lang. When, when it comes to lecture, the theories, okay, I'll be uploading the video for answering guided exercises na ipapakita ko sa inyo ang difference between bonus method and the investment or withdrawal method. Okay? So, yun lang. Bye-bye!